Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I will be showing you how to sideload any apps and or games on any of your iOS devices running iOS 14 and below. Now this works up to 14.2 which is confirmed right now. 14.3 I'm not sure, I haven't tested it yet, but it does work on 14.2 and below. So this is basically an alternative to Alt Store and Cydia Impactor. I find this application to be much better than those in that it is much uh, easier to use, has a better user interface, and it doesn't require you to install the actual uh, side loader onto your device in order to install the IPA. So I'm gonna show you uh, where to download it. So you're gonna go to this link in the description below. And this will be the this this is the full link in the description, so you can go to that, and then this is what you will come to right here. So he had, this guy addresses uh, the city impactor, how it stopped working, and everything that this side loadly application does better. If you scroll down, you know you'll see the important right here. You do need to have iTunes installed from the uh, website apple.com that will also be in the description below you cannot have the Microsoft Store version because that will not work uh, so here are the download links Windows 64 bit and Windows 32 bit in order to check this go into your file explorer go to this PC right click and then click properties and it will bring you to your system information where it will show you if you have a 64 bit PC or a 32 bit once you've uh, seen that, you can just download whichever one you need, and uh, you download that to your desktop. And I'll be showing you uh, the frequently asked questions and answers, which are right here. So you can see all the different errors and problems that other people have had. I haven't had any problems so far using this. You can also check the change logs to see what's new and what's new right now is the iOS 14.2 added support. So once you download that, I'm just going to double click on the application. This will come up, click next, leave all this the same next, and then I would select do not create shortcuts, and then click install. And then we'll just wait for this to finish, uncheck run, and then make sure the create desktop shortcut is checked. Click finish. And then you just double click on the side load the application. This will come up. Wait for it to load. And then I'll show you what to do from there. So when you get to this page here, uh, what you want to do is connect your iOS device and trust it with iTunes. Now remember the iTunes needs to be downloaded from the website, not the Microsoft Store. So that will be in the description below. Don't worry about that. Um, your device will pop up right here under devices. Your, the uh, UDID will be placed right here. And then your Apple account will not be there yet until you either connect your device or drag the IPA file when your device is connected. But once it drags in, uh, the start button will not be grayed out anymore you'll be able to click start and then it will prompt you to enter your apple id and you need to enter the apple id that is on your device so the apple id that you've connected to your device needs to be put into the side loadly application you can go into the advanced options and you can if you're on ios 8 you can check this one um, if you want to change anything else you can i wouldn't suggest doing any Thing. If you are jailbroken and you want to use this, you would have to click jailbreak only mode. But other than that, once you get everything set up here, all you have to do is click start, wait about three to five minutes the first time, and then it, it should go through without any problems. Uh, again, if you have any problems, you see that in the frequently asked questions, or you can leave a comment in the comment section below and ask me, and I'll do my best to help you. That is it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.